final stage. A lot of domestic interest in uh, these. And the competitors shortly due out for the first quarter final. Just thinking there, David, remember the uh, terrific run between Alan Wells and Mike McFarlane when they uh, couldn't be separated in 20.43 in Brisbane in 82. Mike McFarlane no longer with the England team after a gap of, well, after a period of serving about 10 years. But one of the uh, campaigners that's worked with him so much, Addy Maffey, he'll be in this heat, Addy Maffey, who was the 1989 European Indoor Champion and uh, was a silver in the World Championship. And he had uh, a bad period, and he got through that bad period, has come back, and I was uh, very impressed with the way he's running this morning. He goes in lane three in this one, but it's, it's tightened up a good deal. The uh, heats were very soft, very easy to get through. Now it's the first four plus two, and they're going to have to do a little bit of running this time. If I tell you that uh, outside Eddie Maffey, he's got uh, Sammy Boteng of Ghana, who's run 20.74. Darren Clark, the winner of the 400, who's run 20.49. Clive Wright of Jamaica, who's run 20.5. And Fabian Muyaba, the Zimbabwean, the 19-year-old, who's run 20.7. So that's the opposition from which uh, four go through to the semi-final. And conditions uh, absolutely perfect. There's a gentle breeze which will be behind their backs as they come into the home straight. And uh, the sun's hidden behind the clouds, but it's quite warm and humid. There's the full lineup. Troy Douglas of Bermuda. Then Pahari Jama of Gambia. Adi Maffi. Samuel Botang of Ghana. We used to call him Nelson Botang, same guy. Darren Clark of Australia, Clive Wright, number fourth ranked in the Commonwealth, he's in lane six, Fabian Muyaba of Zimbabwe in lane seven, Joseph Adim of the Seychelles in eight, and Lyndall Hodge in lane nine. Jamaican Clive Wright. Prowling around out there. Darren Clark. Delighted to see him win the 400. Much as I would have liked a home victory, he's, uh, he really deserves a championship uh, of his own. And there's Addy Maffey, 23, heat winner, London Irish Club, the 1985 European Junior Champion, who vanished into obscurity for one year, I think it was 87, 88, and then came back marvellously. It's uh, Fabian Muyabi of Zimbabwe. Run 20.74 in 89. Joseph Adam. And there's a mark to 20 to 25,000 in this stadium, which had 45,000 in, in it one. when it was for the opening ceremony. Troy Douglas of Bermuda, semi finalist in the 400. He was in the Seoul Olympics, just being introduced to the crowd. Good sprinter. In lane two, there's Pathali Jamia. In lane three, the man who ran very strongly earlier today in the first round, England's Adi Maffei. Adi Maffei. Good reception for him. Looked impressive. Lane four from Ghana, a Seoul Olympian, Samuel Boateng. There's Nelson or Samuel Boateng. Good sprinter. Lane five, continuing to celebrate the gold medal he won on this track yesterday, Australia's Darren Clark. Some celebrations, I understand, in the Australian camp last night. Lane six, a relay medalist at the World Championships, Jamaica's Clive, Clive Wright. Wright. from Jamaica, fourth ranked in the Commonwealth. Former Central American champion. In lane seven for Zimbabwe, Fabian Muyaba. Muyaba of Zimbabwe. In lane eight for the Seychelles, Joseph Adem. With Joseph Adem in the Seychelles. And completing the this very final tough. in lane nine for the British Virgin Islands, Lyndall Hodge. He too might find this difficult to qualify, just the first four going through. And the strong lanes appear to be lanes three to seven. That's the echelon they've been seeded that way, and that's where the fierce competition should come from. Darren Clark, lane five. Addy Maffey, lane three.
looks as if he's wearing his gold medal. Problem? And that's Clive Wright. Just held his hand, let the starter know all wasn't well, and the starter called them to their feet again. No full start on that, of course. If there's a problem. seems to be well now. First quarterfinal, 200 meters. Seemed a long hold, but uh, no problems there. Maffey moving well in lane three. He's on the shoulder of Botang, and Botang can run a bit. And these three breaking away clear, but Clive Wright of Jamaica comes off the bend with him. There he is in yellow with him. And Botang and Addy Maffey go streaking ahead just to make absolutely certain. It's Maffey, Botang, Clark and Wright. The first four, 20.57, and it's, it's really looked easier than that. There was a following wind of 3.12, but Addy Maffey has every reason to smile. That was a very good run in 20.57. There he was. He'd taken a couple of yards out of uh, Sammy Botang on this bend, and Botang couldn't get to him after that. He really started uh, to ease down. It's a beautiful run now. And Darren Clark, Clive Ryder, Jamaica, and Sammy Botang are the other three to qualify. But this was an impressive run in 20.57.